Okay, product of inertia. Let's talk about product of inertia real quick. We've done moments of inertia. We've done radius of gyration. The last concept is the product of inertia. What is the product of inertia? Well, I, X, Y, the product of inertia with respect to the X and Y axes, remember this only makes sense with respect to two axes now, right, is integral of X, Y, DA. Okay, so the parallel axis theorem is going to work out uh, in a similar way. Now IXY is IXY bar, so the IXY at the centroid, right, plus X bar, Y bar times area. So instead of just the distance squared times the area, it's the distance from each axis times each other. Um, and lastly, when the X axis, the Y axis, or both, right, where, where either one or both of them are an axis of symmetry, okay, so not the centroid, but of symmetry, the product of inertia is zero. This is huge. So that means look for symmetry. It will make your life a lot easier. If there is something, if the x or the y axis is symmetric, then the product of inertia is going to be zero. Okay, let's do an example of this. This is example uh, 9.6.